blonde haired boy He be playing in the fields And his daddy lifts him up Let's all be yours And the banks of the rivers Are lined in gold And the sweet rose of pine Lost in the wind doesn't match your sound. <gasps> Excuse me? You dress like a drifter, but you sound like a space opera. Complete tonal disconnect. It gives me anxiety. Oh, sorry. That, that was... I'm, I'm usually much more serious. I play folk music. You look like you do. I mean, I'm trying to write for this show. My first show. Uh-huh. But after a while, it feels like I'm strumming backwards. And my mind wanders away. Where to? The unfathomable depths of space. You seem a little lost, kid. Which is good. I find lost young men are in the business of irrational and dangerous decisions. Wouldn't you agree? Not sure about dangerous, but I am irrational. Excellent. I need you to accompany me to the summit on Leaf Road Ridge. I'm going to commit a crime. What's the crime? The best kind. The mysterious kind. Okay. I'll do it. I knew you would. Dope. Kids come here to hang out. At least, they used to. A lot of folks moving on from Calypso.
this come from? After party. For your show. Rami's gonna move the crowd up here after the liquor license scratches. The skiffle band is playing. They really love skiffle. Good for them. Plug into the amp on stage. I'll patch you in. Is this your stuff? Of course not. Oh. Stop. No Johnson Vendetti clone folk. Play the stuff from the lookout. Oh, no. Seriously? That's nonsense. Hey! When it comes to nonsense, I'm one of the greats. Play. No, not that one. than the first one. Bonanza, that's it. What are you taking? Nothing. Valves. Later. Wait, is this Rami's stuff? You're stealing valves from Rami? Yeah, so? He killed a man in Boulder. Everyone says so. Punched him in the neck. I know. I'm Francis. Francis Vendetti. I know who you are, kid. I saw the flyers. There's a very tiny picture of you on it. I never signed off on the flyers. You ever made it to the top? Been too scared to try. Kill yourself from up here. You shred pretty well for a folk singer. Thanks. So you're standing in the shadows of Johnson Vendetti, huh? He's my uncle. That must suck. It ain't so bad. It's just that I guess folks think they know who I am where I should be going. Hmm. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? How do you mean? Might tell you about it someday. I gotta scram. Stay weird, kid. Hey, will I see you around town? You know Lightman's in Calypso? In Calypso? There's no such place. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Someone else entirely. Rami finds out I was up here when his gear got stolen. Well, I'd rather not think about it. I'm gonna book it back to town and forget the whole thing.
its place tied in the back of your mind it's soft just like a hummingbird when she touches the sky and you've got nowhere and you don't know just why you're a child of the river coming home tonight sweet rose of love Francis, you little bastard. Come to me, my love. Goldie, you lose it? Oh, perhaps a bit. I have a ticket to your recital. It's got a lot of new material. Probably an album's worth. I think when you're beneath those lights, I might catch a glimpse of my old friend. I hope so, too. You look like him, you know. Your uncle. I know, Goldie. I really do. I think this place used to be a watchmaker, undeniably haunted, possible hub of underage drinking. Ah, oh, yeah! Man of the hour! Hey, Tao. Yo, I've never seen so many people in town. Yeah, it's horrible. You listen to that record? Yeah. I kind of loved it, actually. Now that surprises me. What with you being a, a serious folk musician? Yeah, can't be serious lately. Keep spacing out. You gotta let it happen, man. Play blues, play funk, low minds. Yeah, sure. See what I can do. I'll catch you later, Tao. Calypso is usually much quieter. It's quieter each summer, the old folks say. People are here for the anniversary of my uncle's album, Pines. It's kind of like a festival. Everyone's pretty excited. The Johnson Vendetti Festival ends tomorrow night. The finale is at the Salty Seagull, where Johnson Vendetti's nephew will take the stage for the first time. That's me. Avoiding me, son? No, Rami, no. I find you very intimidating. What am I doing, Francis? You... I have no idea. I'm smiling. That's it. And when I'm smiling, you know I don't mean nothing shady or untoward. Despite the gravity of the words I might be speaking,
Right. We got a full house tomorrow night. My face is friggin' hurting. I'm smiling so much when I say... You will play songs exclusively from the personal repertoire of your uncle. Or you will misplace teeth. Well then, I suppose we have an accord. And make sure you show your face at the after party, huh? Cafe Cliché. Their pastries are in the shape of a villain's gnarled grin. Hey, you're Johnson Vendetti's kid. Nephew. Sure, whatever. Saw the Flyers free show, man. Probably won't check it out, though. Okay, whatever. Don't mean nothing nasty, honestly. I'm sure you're a good kid. But you've got no chance. Of what? Johnson Vendetti was a folk mastermind. Once in a generation. And genius ain't hereditary, kid. Well, always nice to get the thoughts of an industry heavyweight. Cassandra, you're leaving? What happened? Intrigue, laser lights, shops disappearing in the night. I won't put up with it. Who's got lasers? Don't mind all that, I'm leaving. Aren't you sad? Cassandra, I'm devastated. Yours is the only shop I bother to steal from. Lies, lies. You can come visit me down the road in Donnybrook. Here, choose a book. From me to you. Sci-fi dribble. Just how you dig it. Well, aren't you gonna thank me? Sorry. I think I was having an epiphany. Well, savor it, my friend. What I wouldn't give for a good epiphany. <laughs> hey, you ever heard of a place called Lightman's? Francis, I don't think you want to be... <clears throat> Actually, no. Never mind. I've never heard of it. Now run along. Go practice. Hey, Lucy. Uh, I'm supposed to tell everyone we got Johnson Vendetti's 20th anniversary release of Pines in stock. I've got a copy, Lucy. The folk masterpiece. The voice of an American generation. 12 million copies sold. Okay, yeah. Lucy, you got any records by people pretending to be someone else? I mean, sure. You got Captain Beefheart, legendary Stardust Cowboy. Oh, Hank Williams pretended to be a character called Luke the Drifter. 
Hank Williams, really? Why would he do that? To say stuff he couldn't say is Hank Williams. Whoa. You okay? Yeah. I keep spacing out. Thanks, Lucy. My place, childhood home of Johnson Vendetti. It's a shrine and a tomb. Honey, how was your day? Was everyone excited to see you before the show? Uh, yeah. I'm really excited. Buckaroo? Uh-huh. You don't seem yourself. Don't seem myself? I've decided to create the most elaborate stage persona the world has ever seen. Okay. Will you be down for dinner? We're having enchiladas. The boy you loved may already be gone. That's my dad and my uncle. They were really close, Mom says. From the beginning until... No one asks me about my dad much. I step on stage, not as myself, but as someone else entirely. away from the infinite. On the far side of a thin film of atmosphere lies a tundra beyond the limits of human comprehension. The universe in all its grandeur, its wonder and desolation waits mere miles away. The stairway to the great cosmic symphony is at our feet.
bad news, Knox the Slate. Um, hello? Greetings. Little bee. A pleasant climate here, don't you think? Mild. Fragrant, almost. What? What are you wearing? I am looking for Francis Vendetti. You found him. I am the hypnogogic Zalm. I appear tonight as a herald of doom and calamity. The support act on our tour is indisposed. A replacement is needed. And the captain asked for you by name. Captain? What captain? He calls himself Lightman. Wait, Lightman? You're from Lightman's? Where is it? It's supposed to be in Calypso, but I've lived here my whole life. There is no such place. Stand extremely still. What? Why? How did you do that? Where are my pajamas? Does it adhere to your hideous, humanoid arrangement? I'm in love with it. Why are you giving this to me? Is Lightman some kind of alien disco? Hold out your hand, human. Did... did I do that? Was that... You're tuning into another dimension. Don't stop now. Lightman is waiting on the other side. Hey, wait! What does that mean? How did you organize this?
He's on his way. You make an entrance, baby. <laughs> and don't let no one tell you otherwise. This him? I'm afraid so. Uh, how, how, how did you... I heard the word. You got the aura, baby. How? I'm no one. Got my ear close to the ground, kid. And you're making a lot of noise. Are you Lightman? Jammer of the Glamour Gun himself. Now, we ain't got much time. I'm about to star in a performance of Colossal Scope, and I don't go on without a support act. Never, ever. This is the skinny. Tonight's opening slot has become available. Wait, you want me? I'm supposed to be a serious folk musician. Oh, baby, we'll have you back in time for breakfast. What? Uh, no, I've got my first show tomorrow. I'm in the midst of an existential crisis. I can't just go running off into the night. The night? Baby, we're going way past the night. We're going on a ride across the dilated pupils of the cosmos. Man, you're gonna see flotsam that'll change you forever. Change me forever. Let me give you the first lesson free. This is the musical key. like a boat job. Now repeat after me. My notes, but add your own timing, your own rhythm. What do you think, Zom? He'll be dead by... Excellent! You're hired, baby. 
Follow me. Wait, this isn't here? This isn't a thing. It, this is an empty warehouse. Young blood, the stuff behind this door is going to blow your mind. Luxury packages? What is this place? Like a travel agent? The Cosmic Extraordinary? I have never heard of any of these places. Francis, one little admonition. You need to be cleared with legal, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, image rights, sync, narrative, licensing, insurance, posthumous royalties, and spectromic signature, you know, all pretty standard. You get all that? Not one bit. Voice signature accepted. Onward! How could this fit beneath Calypso? It's impossible! This sign is to French kiss death. That's a striking visual. Are we gonna French kiss death? Not one day, unfortunately. But you see that door? That's the end of everything you've ever known, baby. Beyond that door lies the Cosmic Extraordinary. What does that mean? Oh man, that's the great matter between the lobes of the universe. The outside of reality. Often described as the in-between bits. You can't be serious. Oh, you're right. You're right about that. You can't be. Not out here to lose what's left of your marbles. What does it look like? The Cosmic Extraordinary. Oh, baby, it looks different to everyone. To me, it's a golden staircase woven lightly. Now to you, who knows? <laughs> Thank you. 
There's a lot of that out here, my man. Wait, where are you going? You're on your own, kid. Everyone takes their own road across the cosmic extraordinary. You're looking for the lung. The cosmic lung. What's that? It's home, baby. If it isn't a fluffy little piece of space dust. You've got a strange sound to you. Whoa. I'm a wonder. Make no mistake. Are you God? Darling, you are divine. I am not. You know, I did see her once, from a distance. What was it like? She was playing pinball. No way. Way. All the greats are obsessed with pinball. The only reason we created the universe. What do you call yourself? Out here? I'm, I'm dabbling with the idea of becoming someone else entirely. My name... It's complicated. In this place, you are the namer of names. But choose wisely. Names can get carried away. What? How do you mean? They wander off. Begin, Begin to breathe. Before you know it, they're on books and banners. Scrawling themselves over manifestos. A name, once weightless, suddenly burdened with the weight of empires. What will you name yourself? And where are you headed? The Cosmic Alarm. Really? You're touring with Lightman? Well, well if you, you say, say so. so. 